Yeah. Let's get into this. The 2020 GA Football All Ireland Senior Championships are underway, and to celebrate Super Value as part of their Support Where You're From campaign, they've given us some great prizes to give away. Dig out your favourite ticket stub, match program, jersey, photo with your hero, any GA related items that you've been dying to tell the country about. Make a 20 second video explaining its significance. Get them into us on any OTB social channel or on WhatsApp 0879 180 180. And to show you how it's done, here is Enda Call and Shane Hannan. Okay, so I'm a Monaghan man. I'll put that out there straight away. But my dad's from Galway. He's from Dunmore, Dunmore McHale's man. So I grew up idolising Michael Donlan. Uh, the Donlan dynasty, of course, his father, uh, John, was a serious player for Galway. His grandfather, Michael, they all won all Ireland. We all remember that run Michael Donlan went on in that 98 All-Ireland final against Kildare. But this is my favourite and uh, most treasured GEA memorabilia piece. It's a match programme from a league game in Healy Park in Oma in April 2004. One sixteen after extra time between uh, Galway, a piece between Galway and Tyrone. But this was the day I met Michael Dunlan. So this was something I'd always wanted to do, walking the streets of Dunmore, visiting my grandparents. But finally, on this day, I met Michael Dunlan, got him to sign my programme just before he hopped on the team bus back to Galway. And uh, yeah, that is my most treasured G8 memorabilia piece. And end of call is next. So I'm one of many Ulster men in the off-ball offices from Donegal. I couldn't travel up to my home county to actually get my sport memorabilia. So I've drawn a little picture of it here. It is from the 2012 All-Ireland Final when Donegal hammered Mayo. And if you can see on the back there, it's from the Hill 16. I was located in the Deneen stand when Michael Murphy fired that ball into the net and then Colin Anthony McFadden fired the second one. I was actually told by a fellow Donegal fan to calm down after that goal went in. It was unbelievable. Jimmy was winning matches and Mayo still haven't won an All-Ireland since. Uh, the pen drawn tickets is absolutely priceless uh, with the Mayo or crap in brackets at the bottom of it. We need a photograph of that end uh, and we'll stick it up on uh, social media. We're going to choose a winner every Friday. During the championship, each weekly winner lands a 200 euro Super Value voucher and also the chance to star in Super Value's Super Fan Series, a fly on the wall, peek inside the homes of dedicated supporters around the country. Super Value proud sponsors of the GAA Football All Ireland Senior Championships. Check out facebook.com forward slash Super Value Ireland for more details. Uh, John Duggan is with us. John, you're a man who keeps stuff. Yeah, more than a year, I know. You keep every programme and every ticket, or both? No, just tickets. Just tickets, not programme. Here's a photo of uh, Dalo and I, Anthony Daly. Uh, holding the tickets from the 1995 and 97 All-Ireland Finals oh, right. uh, that I, I attended as a Clare fan, a Hurland fan. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I keep all my tickets and it's a, I know, discussed it when we were over in Russia um, that they're, they're you know, very, very precious to me uh, at now, a certain level. Have you got them like in leather bound binders with like is there, or is it? There's they, a drawer. Are they everywhere. There's a drawer. There are secondary tickets, and this is a kind of a. I'm not trying to be, in any way, kind of arrogant about that, or, or you know, disrespectful to people. Anybody goes to a match, but there's general tickets. You go to matches, and this year, generally, you go to see Leinster, Munster, Grant, whatever. But there's a special drawer for special tickets. All Ireland finals, Six Nations games, Republic of Ireland internationals at a high level, and anything that I be like. that goes into the drawer. Uh, certain programs, Tottenham programs, from when I was a young lad. Um, programs of major tournaments, anything that I've got signed and that goes into the special drawer. So if the house burns down, I'll be walking around Dublin with a drawer under my arm and you'll know what the drawer is. It's the drawer full of tickets. And is the drawer organised? It oh, like it's, it's meticulously organised. Every six months I go in and I you know, go through everything and they relayer them. There's a book from Pele, signed from Pele. There's a Shane Larry signed programme from the Open. And look, the re only reason why it's, it's there, and it, it just it's memories. Like I think the best thing for me in life is memory. Uh, and uh, it, it, because it's what, it, your identity as a person. So, the, so every, all the memories are placed in that drawer and, and sometimes I go through it and go, yeah, that was a good day and I was very lucky. Do you have any sports memorabilia on display? No, because I actually had a Spurs signed piece of paper from the Spurs team in 1991 and it faded in the sunlight. Ah. Uh, so therefore everything is locked away. Um, the one thing that's funny, I don't, I don't probably told the story before, that I went to the Grand National in 2002 uh, and Martel sponsored it, the brandy company, and he got a little uh, nagging of Martel brandy. Um, and it was probably there for 10 years. I never opened it. I didn't want to open it. I didn't want to have a sip of it. Uh, and then it was in my mother's house. And then one day I came home and the bottle was empty. And I said, what, what, what did you do to the bottle? My mother's a teetotaler and she's a old school teetotaler and like the demon drink and all that kind of stuff. What are you doing? I said, I put it in a cake. <laughs> So that's what can happen to memorabilia sometimes. Fair enough. I think it is fair enough. 
Uh, oh, and have you, um, you know, obviously every year is a magical year because uh, you're picking up all Ireland medals in the change in the shops, apparently. <laughs> so the story, though, you're yeah, so, you're so complacent about your greatness. Go on. Well, there, there's a good evidence of uh, inflation happening in the late 90s here in front of me. So we've got an All-Ireland football final ticket there from 1997, which cost £10. Wow. But if you go three years later, uh, £25 for uh, an All-Ireland football final semi-final Mint ticket. condition. Uh, mint condition, absolutely. There is a, a, a hill ticket from around that time as well, the All-Ireland replay in 2000 wow. uh, for £15. My mom keeps all of these and she dug these out. The earliest programme she kept was uh, Terry against Tip. Uh, in the 1998 Munster semi-final. Uh, wing forward for Tipperary that day, wearing the 12 jersey, Brendan Cummins. Uh, and I love looking through the, the minor teams of these era as well. This Kerry minor team was pretty good. Uh, it had Stephen, o or it had, uh, Stephen O'Sullivan fullback. Mark O'Shea was wing back. Sean O'Sullivan wing forward. Ty Canelli in the other wing. Uh, and also on the bench that day, you had Paul Galvin. And John Galvin was midfield for Limerick that day in the minor team. Uh, here is a, a signed... Kerry jersey from 2018. Unfortunately, not an All Ireland winning year, but maybe if they've got, you know, if they did the 10 in a row, uh, actually finding an All Ireland winning team could actually become a collector's item in the years to come. A couple of match programs, the 2000, both games, the both of the, the match programs here. The, the minor team on the first day, the minor game on the first day, had Cork against Mayo. This Mayo team, the minor team, had Connor Mortimer and Alan Dillon through the middle there in that match program. But my favourite thing about these programs, because it was Kerry against Galway on both occasions, was this ad in the middle, uh, Eamon O'Keefe and uh, John O'Donoghue, oh. back to back, <laughs> straight out of Connemara, uh, Eamon O'Keefe there. It is uh, gangster stuff there. It is absolutely class. And, What's um, the ad for? Boris uh, Nogelga. Oh, right. Boris Nogelga, so you can see that there at the bottom. The ads, obviously, in these things are, are remarkable. Um, there, like Just a couple of other things. There's like uh, a Kerry Bauer on here, signed by uh, Gooch and uh, signed by Donald Daly. I think I got them to sign it when they called to our school when they won the All-Ireland in 2004, I think. What age uh, are you, uh, <laughs> And then uh, finally, uh, another piece of uh, musical uh, anatomy that I have is, apparatus uh, that I have is <laughs> from the 2000... <laughs> musical anatomy, whoa. Uh, Keep, uh, uh, too much information this morning, Owen. Whatever you do in the privacy of uh, that Kingdom of Kerry is up to you. From the 2010 uh, Munster Championship, it is probably the thing I'm most ashamed to own. But uh, what else happened in the summer of 2010? Uh, it was, of course, the FIFA World Cup. It was, of course, happening in South Africa. I was a teenager. I was prone to silly purchases. I did buy a Vuvuzela before Kerry against Cork in the 2010 All-Ireland Championship. It is terrible. I think it's somebody jammed a battery into it to stop me using it at the time. Uh, and I dug that out last night. Probably uh, my least favorite piece of GA memorabilia. Does it still work? Uh, no, as I say, there's something in it, so it doesn't actually work. You're off to Sotheby's own, I think, with all that stuff. Thank you. That is, that is such a compliment, uh, I, I think. OTBM is live in association with Gillette. Good morning. Start with Gillette giving you the confidence to tackle the day ahead. Share whatever uh, good memorabilia or bad memorabilia you have out there. We'd love to see it. Whatever is um, in your closets, dig it out, unfurl it, take a little video. Uh, tell us what's in it. 087-9180-180 is the number we'd like to see. And there's a 200 euro voucher for Super Value Up for the best or worst, to be honest. We'll, we'll decide. It could be absolutely amazing or it could be uh, funny and bad, but we'd like to see it either way.